Houston, I have a Z-torquing angle when you're ready to copy. Okay, we're showing about 99 by 102 point nine. Okay. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we're advised that the Vice President of the United States is now in the firing room. Uh, we will switch uh, to Cape Kennedy. Just coming. Here is uh, Vice President Agnew. It's official party. I don't, uh, I can't uh, identify them on my monitor here, unfortunately. Got a lot of light and the monitor's rather dim. You can see the Vice President in the middle, but can you tell who's uh, with him there? I'm sure it's uh, some of the space officials, but I, I can't make them out. Now the lighting is down. Oh, there, that helps. There's George Lowe in front of the uh, Vice President, our uh, acting administrator. He's taking Tom Payne's part, uh, place. Oh, there's Juan Carlos. Now it's brighter. Oh, yes, Juan yes, Carlos, uh, the, uh, uh, the designate uh, ruler of Spain, Prince Juan Carlos and his uh, Princess Sophia. They're right in the lower left-hand corner of your picture. And uh, Vice President Agnew in the center of the picture. Now we got a little better view of the prince and the princess. And there's uh, Kurt Debus, the director of this Kennedy Space Center there just behind uh, Agnew. There's Walter Capri to the right. Capri and right in front of him had that big decision to make to launch. <laughs> oh, with the headset on his uh, Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, I suppose it, it is almost a routine performance for me to be here to congratulate the men and women of NASA on an incredibly successful launch and insertion into orbit. I must say that I never fail to be tremendously impressed and moved by this occurrence. Today is especially pleasurable because I had the opportunity to be with the Royal Highnesses of Prince Juan Carlos, Princess Sophia of Spain, and I can tell you this much, if I've ever seen two fans and converts to the American space undertaking, we have them right here and these wonderful foreign dignitaries with me today. I think that this flight as an especially meaningful and critical uh, mission in the American space program. I don't have to enlarge upon that to the men and women here. Our dedication to our space program remains undiminished. I think that we're going to continue to press forward for what needs to be done in this respect. And I want to congratulate the people of NASA who throughout all of the pullings and tuggings, the fears, and the exhilarations that undertake a high-risk venture such as the American Space Program have been so consistent, so constant, and certainly uh, so restrained in uh, their reaction to what may have been considered to be in some areas some very discouraging occurrences. Those days are past us, and we're going forward together, not just to the moon, but I'm certain that the American program will continue uh, to press forward into the reaches of interplanetary space. And now it's a great pleasure for me to ask <coughs> our royal guest, uh, His Royal Highness Prince Juan Carlos, who incidentally knows a lot more about flying than I do because he pilots his own helicopter to greet the men and women of NASA and to give us in some measure his reactions to this historic occasion. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President. You said that we were fans. We are fans. We came here in 1962 in our honeymoon. We met some of you that we saw today and we were very happy to see them again. We saw the installations and the facilities of NASA in Houston, with Dr. Lowe was there then, at the time, and we were very much interested. Personally, I followed a few of the tracking stations you have in my country. I know the people there and I know how well they are doing. Here, I don't have any words because 
you are the man who put up those three men that now go to the moon and you're doing so much for progress in, and for the whole humanity that I'm very proud to be a part of you today. Congratulations and thank you very much. The man in the center of the screen there, who is right to the uh, left of, uh, of Vice President Agnew, to the right on your screen was Walter Caprian, who was the launch director today, as he has been for the last several Apollo shots, as a man who had to say that the cloud cover today uh, didn't uh, contain the same sort of threat that uh, unexpectedly developed on Apollo 12 when he decided that it was all right to go, and it must have, he must have had real crossed fingers uh, at, at this launch of Apollo 14 through this very heavy cloud cover. But now Apollo 14 is on the way. It is in orbit, 118 miles above the Earth.